16 year old guy you're working with quite an established team but but you're the driver at the end of the day how, how do you work with your team well i think firstly um double r are obviously a very good team they've worked with lots of young drivers before so that's obviously a very um a good a good team to be with because uh, they know what they're doing and they understand how to work with young drivers um but i also think there's there's something you can put in yourself as a driver um being mature, showing that maturity is definitely a, a, a massive bonus in, in the sense of getting your, your team to work with you. Um, if you're mature, it just comes across really negatively, uh, as everyone probably knows. Um, and it's hard to get them to listen to you and listen to your opinion. Uh, but I think the, the main thing is maturity, really. If you can show you mature and you can show that you know how to act around um, other people in certain situations, um, especially as a young driver, it just helps the whole team kind of you feel more at one with the team um they're more comfortable with you you're more comfortable with them you're, you're more they're on a friendly basis instead of a professional uh, level uh, mm. which i think is good to have a mixture of those two within a team um but but yeah i mean it, it's always difficult when you've got you know my engineer this year i think is 40 years older than me or, or 30 years older than me yeah, yeah. so it's, it's, it's a massive age gap uh yeah. but there's also as well on that there's also a common ground you you've, you can always find common grounds with someone no matter how old they are um and obviously our common ground is racing and winning so we both want to win let's yeah. work on that together yeah. and then you build a friendship and a relationship and then once you've got a friendship doesn't matter how old they are you've always got someone listening then and then there's mutual respect yeah great.